गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज देशन ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ जे ई फिजिक्स एंड चैप्टर इज करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड फॉर दिस सेशन आई टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज रिटर्न ऑन दिस बोर्ड The question is the charge uh, supplied by a source varies with time given by Q is equal to eighty minus uh, uh, b t square where a and b are constants and t is the time. The total heat generated in the resistor two R. This is the uh, resistance having uh, the value of two R and uh, is means we have to find the total heat generated in this resistor that is in the resistor two R. So we have been given four options here, and we have to find the correct one. Now, uh, the heat will be generated in all these three resistors when it is connected to an external EMF source. Because when it is connected to an external EMF source, a current, say I, will start flowing through uh, uh, this uh, uh, through these. Uh, Uh, resistors and uh, it will be uh, distributed um, according uh, to the value of their resistance so when the current starts flowing in this circuit the heat will be generated in all these three resistances and so let us say at time t is equal to 0 all resistors are connected All resistors are are connected to the EMF source. Now, this the current will keep on. The current will start flowing through this circuit, and the heat will also start getting generated in all these three uh, resistors. and the heat generation will stop when current that is i becomes zero when the he when the current which is flowing through this uh, circuit becomes zero then the heat generation will stop in all these three resistors so now um uh, heat which is generated in an um Resistor is given by I square R into T. This is the formula which I think everybody must be knowing about it. So H is the heat generated, which is equal to I square R into T, where I is the current which is flowing through that resistor, and T is the time. Now <coughs> I will be using this formula in order to calculate the total heat generated in this resistor two R. Now uh, here we have been given that. Q is equal to that is the charge supplied by this external source is equal to A T minus B T square. So we also know that the current is equal to D Q upon D T. So this will be equal to A minus two B T. Now. first thing is that we have to find the heat generated in this resistor or we, uh, we have to find the total heat generated in this resistor between the time interval that is from t is equal to 0 to that time uh, uh, till uh, uh, till the current is flowing in that circuit now the current in the circuit is will become to will, will become zero uh when t is equal to that is i is equal to a minus 2 bt now if if i just equate it to zero i will be getting the value of t at which the current will become zero let us say this is equal to t not so this is equal to a upon 2 b so we have to find the uh total heat generated in this Resistor from t is equal to zero to t is equal to a upon two two b because at this time the current in the circuit is becoming zero and when the current in the circuit becomes zero then the heat generation in the circuit uh, in the the heat generation in the, all the these uh, uh, these uh, resistors will also be, uh, be equal to will uh, will stop 
so uh now so what we have got is that first thing is that the, uh, the current i is equal to a minus 2 vt first thing then the current uh sorry uh, the time at which the current becomes zero is equal to a upon 2b and t is the time when all these resistors that is when uh, t is equal to zero t is equal to zero is the time when all the resistors are connected to the ems source t is the time when all the the resistors are connected to this external emf source so these are the three important things which we have been able to uh, uh, find from this equation that is q is equal to 80 minus uh, bt square and uh, now we will be using the kirchhoff's law in order to find the current th through this resistor 2r because we have to find the value of i i also and r is all is already given to us now let us consider this loop uh, b c d and e b c d uh, b c d e b now uh, i have taken the current which is flowing through this resistor r is equal to i now using the kirchhoff's junction rule let us say the current which is flowing through this uh, uh, through this resistor is uh, i1 and so if the current is flowing if the current flowing through this resistor i1 uh, through this resistor 2r is equal to i1 then the current which will be flowing through this resistor r will be equal to i minus i1 okay this is as per the kirchhoff junction rule now i will be using the kirchhoff's loop rule loop rule uh, considering the uh, this loop that is b c d e b now as per the kirchhoff's loop rule the algebraic sum of potential difference across all the resistors and the external uh, emf source in uh, in that uh, loop should be equal to zero so the potential difference across this resistor is equal to 2 r into i1 now here the current is flowing in this direction and you here also the current is flowing in this direction since the direction of the current uh, through this resistor r and 2r are uh, opposite to each other therefore here i will be using the minus sign here the potential difference across this will be equal to i minus i1 into r this will be equal to 0 so from here if i get 2r i1 minus minus and minus plus uh, i 2r i1 plus r i1 minus i r is equal to 0 r will cancel out so i am i will be getting the value of i1 is equal to because this is 3 i1 uh, is equal to i so i1 will be equal to i upon e so the current which is flowing through this resistor 2r is equal to i upon now q is uh, we have got the value of i as uh, is equal to a minus 2 bt so i can put the value of the uh, value of i here so i will be getting the value of current through this resistor 2r as equal to a minus 2 bt divided by 3 now um, so we have uh, found the value of i we know the value of the this resistor r and now we have to find the total heat generated which will be which will be given by the formula h is equal to integration from t is equal to 0 because t is equal to 0 is the time when all the resistors were connected to this emf source and this is the time when the heat generation has started and the heat generation will stop when the current in the circuit becomes zero so the current in the, in the circuit became zero when uh, at time t not which is equal to a upon 2b and this will be equal to uh, i by 
होल स्क्वायर आर डी टी तो दिस इज द इक्वेशन विच आई हैव गॉट विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज क्यूज गुड एटी माइनस बी डी स्क्वायर एंड यूजिंग द किर चॉप स्लो नाउ आई विल बी पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ आई विच इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस टू बी टी इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड देर आफ्टर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस इक्वेशन इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द टोटल हीट जनरेटेड थ्रू दिस रेसिस्टर टू आर सो दिस इज टू आर सॉरी टू आर सो एच विल बी इक्वल टू नाउ इफ आई दिस विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम जीरो टू ए अपॉन टू बी आई विल बी इक्वल टू ए माइनस टू बी टी डिवाइड बाई थ्री होल स्क्वायर टू आर डी टी नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू एच इज इक्वल टू जीरो ए अपॉन टू बी ए स्क्वायर प्लस फोर बी स्क्वायर टी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए बी टी ए बी टी डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन इंटू टू आर डी टी Now h is equal to. Now I will be uh, solving this equation. So uh, this is two uh, r by nine is uh, is a constant. So I will be just taking it out. And now I will be um, getting this equation as uh, a square t and four uh, b square t cube plus four b square t cube upon three. माइनस फोर ए बी टी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू फोर ए बी टी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू सो दैट टू डिवाइड बाई टू इट विल बी इक्वल टू टू ए बी टू ए बी टी स्क्वायर फ्रॉम जीरो टू ए अपॉन टू बी सो एच इज इक्वल टू टू आर Of our nine, I will be now putting the value of uh, t as a upon two b. So if I put the value of a upon two b, so this will be equal to a q upon two b And uh, plus this will be equal to four b cube, four b square, and t cube will be equal to a cube upon eight uh, b cube, four b square, a cube divided by eight b square into three minus two ab. T square is equal to a square. Divided by four b square. Okay, so from here, the value of h is equal to h is equal to two or by nine. Now from here, we can write as as a q upon two b plus. From here, this b square will get cancelled out, so I will be getting as four a cube upon twenty-four four a cube upon twenty-four minus this is equal to two uh, a cube, and this is uh, this will cancel out. This will be and this will be equal to minus two a cube upon four b. Sorry, 
this will equal to minus 2a cube over that is equal to yeah minus 2a cube upon 4b and uh, so this is what i will be getting so i have got this expression by substituting the value of t as equal to a upon 2b and then it will be minus <clears throat> again i will be substituting the value of uh, this t is equal to 0 then uh, this is the value which i have got by sub substituting the value of t is equal to a upon 2b then it will be minus I will, I will have to put the value of t is equal to 0 here so this this will, uh, this will become 0 this will also become 0 and this will also become 0 so finally i will be getting only this expression So h is equal to uh, 2r upon 9 a cube upon 2b plus this will be uh, a cube upon 6 minus a cube upon 2b. So finally our answer is this will cancel out so we will be getting h is equal to 2r a cube 2r uh, yeah 2r uh, a cube divided by uh, 9 into 654 b or it will be equal to r a cube divided by 27b ok so the uh, total heat which is generated in the resistor 2R is equal to R A cube divided by 27b R A cube divided by 27b so here our answer will be the this D option none because uh, uh, the option A, option B and option C, they are not matching with our answer. So, the correct option is D because the total heat generated will be equal to R A Q divided by 27 P. So, in this question what we have done is, the most important thing which we have to remember while solving this question is that, that the total heat generated uh, will be calculated from the time when these resistors are connected to this uh, external EMF source till the time when the current in the circuit becomes zero. So based on this concept, we were able to define the time interval between which I have to calculate the total heat generation in this resistor 2R. So the time interval was T is equal to zero and T is equal to two, uh, is equal to A upon 2B. Now this is this was the time when the current in the circuit became zero. And then we also use the Kirchhoff's law the junction rule and the loop rule in order to find the value of the current which is passing through this resistor 2R. So using uh, 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 these uh, concepts, we were able to find the total heat generated in the resistor 2R which is equal to R A cube divided by 27B and the correct option is D. So thank you very much for joining in this session uh, number 22. In the next session, I will be coming up with some different types of questions from the same chapter. So till then, have a nice day. Bye.